Okay, we're going to go ahead and mix up some epoxy primer. And for this particular job, we're going to use shop line. And the way this mixes, uh, you always want to make sure that you look at your procedure pages and it'll give you the product information and, and see what the recommendations are. Because on, on epoxies, a lot of times there's an induction time. On this particular uh, product, if you look on here, it says the induction time is uh, 15 induction time period. So you got to wait 15 minutes after the they've been mixed together. And this is kind of like, uh, if you think of it, like they have to uh, get to know each other a little bit before they, they bond. So it's usually just epoxies. There's not a lot of products that have that. But uh, the mixing ratio on this is two to one. So what that means, two parts of epoxy, and you're going to use one part of the hardener, the catalyst. happens to use 3770. Okay, we don't need a whole lot of uh, epoxy, so we're just going to use a small mixing cup and mix up a small amount. And what the epoxy is for, it's uh, for a couple reasons, for corrosion resistance, you know, to prevent rust and things like that. Epoxy works real well for that. Um, it also is real good for adhesion. You know, it sticks good to metal and then other things, the, the surfaces that we're going to put on here a little bit sticks good to the epoxy. So it serves several purposes. So I'm just going to mix up a little bit. If you look on here, this is pre, the ratios are on there for you. So you find where it says two to one. Right here is two to one. So you mix up however much you're needing. So I'm going to mix up, I'm going to mix it up to two uh, primer and then two catalysts. On some of the cans, it will tell you two to one. It says it right here. I've also seen some cans that doesn't say that. So it's always a good idea to have your, your procedure pages nearby where you can look at that. But I'll test, tell you about how long the flash time in between coats. And uh, for this job, we're going to put on two coats of this. And, uh, and, and another thing about epoxy is it has a 72-hour a, a, a window that you can come back and you can spray your base coat or your surfacer or whatever you're putting on top of this you have 72 hours and like a lot of products it's just a 24 hour with a shop line or ppg line you know i don't know some of the others may be a little bit different but you do that's a, a good with this uh so you can see it's not a lot enough to cover that one spot. We'll go ahead and mix this up. And now we have to let it set for 15 minutes at 15 minute conduction time. Like I said, this is usually just to epoxy primers that you'll have to do that step and let it sit. So I'm going to let that set for 15 minutes, put it in a gun, then we'll be ready to spray. Okay, we've mixed up our epoxy primer. We've let it sit for 15 minutes. And we're going to use the 3M cups and liners. Uh, works real well for this. And we're going to strain it. And usually, uh, whenever I'm straining for my primers, I use at least one strainer. Uh, sometimes I use two. But usually with the paint and clears, I use two. So I'm just going to use one strainer with this. Just pour it through there. sets on it and also the way these are designed there's actually another strainer on here that, that gets strained so all the primer will be strained through that as well so these cups work really well 